My name is Flash Isaac and I am a teacher for the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. After defeating jam, I came back in time to help you score high in jam. I am doing this with the help of the Flash Learners Jam app and a series on YouTube according to Jam Syllabus tagged 120 days to jam with Flash Isaac. In this series, we shall be defeating jam and I swear get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. In this episode, we shall be looking at the various questions or the various ways jam set questions under economics and how to answer them perfectly. I shall be taking you through step-by-step -step procedure to answer any question you encounter under economics and under median in jump. And one thing I will uh, advise you is, in any way possible, don't follow shortcuts. Anybody that is teaching you shortcuts to anything, to an extent, is not helping you. Because after here, you are going to prostitute me. After prostituting me, you get admission. For you to be offering economics in jump, it implies that it relates to your course in future. So if you learn shortcut now, one, it will be difficult for you to learn the right way, and two, shortcuts doesn't work for most cases or some cases. If you have questions under such cases, it will be difficult for you in jam, position, and when you are in school. If you learn the right thing, it will always be easy for you in the long run, and you have less pain in your head because with shortcuts you cram a lot of things to use. At such. You can forget in the examination hall. Medium. What is medium? As the name implies, medium is the middle number. The middle number. However, if I give you two, one, and three, you cannot just tell me that the median is one because here one is the middle number. Median is the middle number if and only if IFF stands for if and only if if and only if the number is arranged in order either ascending order or descending order so for an ungrouped data if I give you values like this randomly they are referred to as ungrouped data by the time the values are in the table and they have frequency they are referred to as grouped data or frequency distribution so a question like this i say find the median the first thing that should come to your mind is let me arrange it in order so if you are arranging in ascending order from smallest to the biggest you say okay one is smallest one followed by two two then three so this number is in ascending order the median is two if you are ready in descending order it will be three two and one the median is also two if i give you something like this two one four seven six nine eight four no matter how many they are for on group data arrange in ascending order or descending order but i recommend ascending order because it will be easier for you to count from smallest to highest than from highest to smallest. Here, one is the smallest. After one, two, four. I've done four, I've done one, I've done two. After that, another four, as you can see. Four, six, seven, eight and nine so since these numbers are much we need to count to avoid errors one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight so two one two four four six seven eight nine this is ascending order then you look at the numbers one two three separate one two three separate this time around we are not lucky because the median or there is no single number at the middle however it is easy for us to find median when 
you remove numbers from this side, remove from this side, and you have two numbers left at the middle. To find the median, you simply look for the average of the two numbers or the mean of the two numbers. How do you do that? We add the numbers 4 plus 6 and we divide by 2 because there are two numbers. 4 plus 6 is 10 divided by 2, that is 5. So the median is 5. Very, very simple. For any ungrouped data you come across, this is the procedure for finding, finding media. A question comes to mind. How about you are given something like this to find the middle number? Do you just count and say, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So since you have 9, you remove 4 here, you remove 4 here, 1 will be at the middle. So you just say, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4, comma. Therefore, the middle number is, which one will you say is the middle number? Is it even the S or the frequency? You don't do that for a good data. Take a look at this. Anytime you are given a group data, the first thing you should do is take notes of the frequency, uh, frequency, add the frequencies. That is the first step. There are formulas which I will take you through, but let me take you through this step, this method. It will make you to understand and not to forget how to answer median questions. Add the frequency. And when you are given tables like this, the ones at the bottom are usually the frequency. Here, F frequency stated here table like this the one at this side is the frequency now here the one at the bottom is the frequency number of students is frequency even if they don't write it as frequency or f for you take note of that now add frequency this is the frequency let's add one plus two is three plus 2, 5, plus 1, 6, plus 2, 8, plus 2, 10, 10 plus 1, 11, 11 plus 3, 14, 14 plus 1, 15. So, if I am correct, frequency is equals 15. After adding the frequency, ask yourself, is it odd or is it even? Is it odd or is it even? Even numbers are numbers that can be divided by 2 without remainder. Like 10 is an even number. 10 divided by 2 is 5. Now we got 15. 15 divided by 2, you will not get a whole number. This will give you... Uh, 15 divided by 2, that should give you 7 points. Something. Since there is point something, this is an odd number. So, odd detected. Now that we found out that it's an odd number, the third thing to do is check the median position. What will be the position of the median? There are two ways to find the median position. If the frequency, sum of the frequency is even, that means it's a number you can divide by 2, simply divide it by 2. That will give you the median position. But if the summation of the frequency is odd, like in this case, add 1 to the frequency and divide by 2. That will give you the median position. So, median position is equals, this number is odd, we add 1. That is 15 plus 1, 16. Then we divide by 2. 16 divided by 2, is that 8? Yes, 8. So this is not the median. This is the median position. Take note, this is the position of the media, the eighth position. After getting the eighth position, you come and look. Which of them is the eighth position? You start counting from the frequency, not the S, the bottom. Here, one plus two is three. Three plus two, that will give you what? Five. Five plus one, six. 6 plus 2, 8, which means if you are counting from here, the 8 number will be here. If you are counting from here, 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. So anyhow you look at it, from
from here or from here, this is the median position will be here. So the median is the position that corresponds to this frequency. We use frequency to arrive at the position. So the median will be the number at the top. Yeah. So median is equals five. Following what we did here, let's take a look at this question. The first thing we should do is let's find the sum of the frequency. Add all the frequencies. So this is the frequency. 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 11 plus 12 plus 7 plus 3. That should give you 50. So the summation of the frequency or adding the frequency we got 50. You ask yourself, is 50 an even or an odd number? 50 is an even number because we can say 50 divided by 2 we will get an answer. No remainder, no decimal points. Therefore, even is confirmed. Since even is confirmed, the median position, position is equals 50 divided by 2. You divide by 2 straight, and this is equals 25th position. Here, we got an odd number. So to find the median position, we added 1 to the odd number to give us 16, and we divided by 2 to get 8. So here, the median position is the 25th number. So the number, the score, that corresponds to the 25th frequency is the median score. Now let's go again. Here, Let's count from here. 3 plus 7 is 10. 10 plus 12, that is 22. If I'm not wrong, 22. 22 plus 11. The thing is, the 25th number will be here, counting from here. Now, let's count from here. 2 plus 3, 5. Plus 5, 10. Plus 7, 17. 17 plus 11, 28. Which means from 17. 18, 19, 20, everything around that 25 will also be here. And in any table or frequency, if you come from here, you can come from here, the median position will always correspond to a particular number. Since the frequency is here, the median is not 11. It is the score that corresponds to it. So the median is really not the frequency, but the score in that frequency. The median is 10. So which is the formula? For median position, if it is even, you say summation f divided by 2. If the number is odd, summation f plus 1 divided by 2. Add 1 to summation of the frequency divided by 2. Now look at something. Life has been so easy for us. Let's see questions like this. When you have questions with class interval or class boundary and ask to look for median, the procedure is quite different. In most cases, Jump will not give you questions like this in economics, but for mathematics, it's sure, sure. In fact, Jam will want to give you this instead of this to find median. Add the frequency. Summation of f is equals 2 plus 4, 6, plus 5, 11, plus 2, 13, plus 3, uh, 16, plus 2, 18, plus 1, 19, plus 1, 20. If my calculation is correct, summation of frequency is equals 20. Now, is it an even number? Yes, even. If it is an even number, then the median position will be 20 divided by 2. That is 10. 10 is the median position, which means Let's start adding from here. 2 plus 4, 6. 6 plus 5, that is uh, 11. Which means from 6 to 11 is here. So if from 6 to 11 is here, it means 10 would also be here. Counting from here, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2, 4. Plus 3, 7. 7 plus 2, 9. So 9 plus 5, 14, which means from 9 to 14 is here, and 10 is also in the range. 
So counting from up or from down, here is the median frequency of the median position. So looking at here, the median will be either 11, 12, 13, 14, or 15. L1 is the lower class boundary. What is lower uh, class boundary of the median class? Now we've answered and we've seen that here, the median position is here. And the median is in range 11 to 15. The lower class interval, class boundary, or the L1, is here. If you take here like this and like this, this will be the lower class boundary. If the median position were to be around here, the L1 or lower class will be 16 and 15 divided by 2. If the median position were to be here, L1 will be 26 plus 25 divided by 2. Since the median position is here right now, the lower class will be this 11 starting off the range and ending of the one at the top. So like this. So L1 will be 10 plus 11 divided by 2. This is 22 over 2. 21 over 2. So that should give you 10.5 if I am correct. So, once again, if the median position were to be here, like this, here, L1, the lowest class boundary will be the first number of the median position plus the last number of the one at the top divided by 2. So you can practice a lot of questions and use this method. So we've gotten our L1. Something else we need to calculate median is what I wrote here as FMP. It means frequency of the median position. What is the median position? The median position is around here, right? So the frequency of the median position is 5 because here is the median position and the frequency is 5. So frequency of the median position is 5. Next is cumulative frequency of the class before the median position. C, F, B. It means cumulative frequency of the class before the median position. What does that mean? Add the frequency of the class before the median position. Which means, here, 2. Let me use this opportunity to teach you cumulative frequency. Here, 2. You keep 2 here. Cumulative frequency, 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. You put 6 here. Now, the next will be 6 plus 5, that is 11, 11. The next will now be 11 plus the next one, 2, that is 13. The next is 13 plus 3, that is 16. The next is 16 plus 2, the next one, that is 18. The next is 18 plus 1, that is 19. And the next is 19 plus 1, that is 20. So. Once you do cumulative frequency, it will be it will uh, the, the last number here will be summation of f. This is how to calculate cumulative frequency. So, CFB is this cumulative frequency of the class before the median class. This is median class. Cumulative frequency of the median class is eleven, but the cumulative frequency before the median position is six, because this is the one before the median position. So, cumulative frequency before the median class is 6. In summary, the first thing you look for is summation of f. Add all the frequency, you get 20. After that, look for the median position. The median position is, since we have even frequency, we divide the even frequency by 2 and we got 10. So 10 is the median position. And we take that to be what will be here, frequency of the median position. After that, we look for the frequency of the median class. Here is where the median is, and the frequency is 5 that corresponds to the median class. So we take it as 5. Next, we look for the cumulative frequency before the median class. The cumulative frequency before the median class is 6, like we saw here. That is 6. Up next, or the last thing we need is the class interval, i. i is the class interval. To get the class interval, if you say 
6 minus 1, you get 5. If you say 11 minus 6, you should get 5. If you say 16 minus 11, you should get 5. If you say 21 minus 16, you should get 5. So when you subtract any of those ones, or you say 10 minus 5, you get 5. 15 minus 10, you get 5. So just pick the second number here, subtract from the first number. That will give you the clear interval. So interval is 5. These are the parameters we need to calculate median. So median is therefore equals... Okay, I didn't revise this. The lower class boundary is simply... You look at the median class. The median class is here, like we analyzed. So the level, the first number of the median class plus the last number of the number at the top that is before the median class divided by 2 is the lower class boundary here. So N1 is 10.5 plus frequency of the median position. Median position is 10. Frequency of the median position is 10. 10 minus cumulative frequency before the median position is 6. 6 over frequency of the median position is 5 times class interval is 5. This is all you need. So if you understand all the things you need at this step, cram me the formula or the fact that you must know the formula will not be a problem at all. This will give you 10.5 plus 10 minus 6, that should give you 4 over 5 times 5. In board mass, multiplication will come before addition. So we multiply, open the bracket first, eh, before addition. That will give you 10.5 plus 4 times 5 is 20. So 20 divided by 5. So we open the bracket, we've multiplied. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So this is equals 10.5 plus 4 and that will give you 14.5 14.5 is still in this range so we are correct this is the median ladies and gentlemen i'm doing everything possible to make sure you understand if at this point you still don't understand please contact me see my numbers reach me whatsapp uh telegram facebook reach me i will answer you my aim is for you to pass and understand very 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 well that is option C, no option D. For this last question, you are given scores and number of students. I try to combine median and mean here. What do you do in this case? The first thing you do is, since you are given the mean S bar to be 3.5, and what is mean? For a group data, the mean given 3.5 is equals summation of Fs over summation of s. Summation of fs is use f to multiply s. For the first one, 1 times 1, 1 times 1, plus next, 2 times 4, 2 times 4, plus next, 3 times 5, next, 3 times 5, plus the next is 4 times 6, 4 times 6. And the next is 5 times s plus 5 times s plus the next is 6 times 2. 6 times 2 over summation of the frequency. 1 plus 4, 1 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus s plus 2. So ladies and gentlemen, this other question is just by the way side. That is it. Get the Flash Senna Jam app and begin to practice and enjoy yourself. See you in the next episode where we shall be looking at mode for both grouped and ungrouped data. Thank you.